Get ready to get in the game. Stretch, strengthen, live, and thrive. You can be a winning athlete in the game of life. It's the Peel Appeal with author and corrective exercise specialist, Matt Peel. Hey, this is Matt Peel with the Peel Appeal podcast. And once again, we're privileged to talk science and facts from all the way across the big pond with uh, physio expert, John Rutherford, who is uh, joining us from his home this time, I think uh, just outside London. And we wanted to talk about how exercise can help you with stress levels and what stress does for you from a postural standpoint and a physical health standpoint. We, I'm sure you're well aware about the mental health side, but what does it do from a physical health side? So thanks for joining me uh, today, John. Oh, you're welcome, Matt. I'm glad to join you. Yeah. Friday evening in New Orleans, late in London. Yes, as we record this. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So Always a pleasure. Yeah, I, I thank you. I love doing this. This is a, it's so much fun to uh, get to talk um, with Zoom across the uh, across the world, really. Yeah, and as I think, you know, as you said, it's probably nice in New Orleans. It's still winter here, but never mind. Right, right. Yeah, it definitely is. It's uh, warming up, warming up. Good. So, obviously, you see a lot of patients on a daily basis. You know, we'll, we'll go with that, not necessarily on the, the sports side, and just the fatigue that stress causes people and various stresses, life stresses, you're, you're late for work, you forgot your socks, whatever it may be, types of things. Um, and especially as we're sitting and more, you know, leaning into our screens and the fatigue. So kind of tell us, what do you see with patients that, um, that stress has, has done? We were talking a little bit beforehand about the fatigue and about the sleep and, and, and what does that cause uh, people? So I think with a lot of people I see, Matt, people usually come to me with pain, joint pain, back pain, neck pain. Mm-hmm. They don't tend to come to me if they they feel their body balance is wrong or they've got headaches or they just feel anxious. Mm-hmm. But a lot of these are connected um, to posture. So I will see a lot of patients who, whose posture is bad. They sit hunched at the computer. They have stressful lives. As a consequence of this, their body alignment is altered. And from that situation, it impacts on their general health. Uh, The primary things I see, um, apart from the obvious, which is an impact on the immune system, which is a whole different subject. We obviously can't go into it now, but it's a massive subject um, as to how stress affects the immune system. The primary things I see are um, anxiety, fatigue, and poor sleep. And these are these are common presentations when the body alignment is wrong. Hmm. That stems from like what part we of body alignment? Are we talking from the, the the shoulders, the trunk, and then the hips? What what kind of area of the head? Um, I think if if you're looking at stress caused by body alignment, it's probably the whole body. It's probably comes from the pelvis upwards through the thoracic spine, the neck, the shoulders. But the, the awareness factor is it's the shoulders and the head. They know their shoulders and their middle back and their head, their neck hurts. Um, headaches are also a common problem with posture um, because of the, the bad position of the way they hold the neck and shoulders. The shoulder muscles will stress the head. The vertebrae in the neck will stress the head. And both of these can contribute to headaches. So although I didn't mention it before, headaches are another big factor. You have to be a little careful because headaches are lots of different causes. But um, realignment of the body will often correct headaches, assuming that you've um, discounted any other serious cause for. Right. So what? And I, just, just, just to expand that slightly, I had somebody today who is suffering from headaches but has had an MRI of the skull. And the neurologist has cleared any pathology in the brain. So it's it's nothing to do with the, the with the brain that causing the, the headaches. May very well be the neck. I'll have to see as we correct the alignment whether it does resolve it. Headaches can be food related, um, very commonly, or sometimes through migraines. Nobody quite knows what causes them. Yes, yeah, so no stress is, you know, triggers migraines, and and whether it's subconscious, you know, a subconscious trigger, 
or conscious trigger. Uh, and yeah, and that, that's a kind of a different subject yeah. in, in that regard. I, but... I think there probably is a big factor in migraines with, with alteration in blood flow, again, which can be to do with body alignment. If you're holding your body parts in the wrong place, it probably is going to interfere with the blood flow. And blood flow is related, altered blood flow is related to migraines. It's one of the factors. True, true. So what, how would you treat, and I know what last we talked about, you know, forward head position. And we know that forward head position also contributes to tension headaches and migraines. Um, so how would you treat someone who with, say, alter with, with the head and shoulders uh, and maybe some forward head position to alleviate the stress of that can uh, be caused from headaches? What, what would you do or how would you assess them? So my evaluation is, is, is based on, um, is a subjective first. You take their history, you ask them. I always look to see what primary, I ask them what it is I can help them with. Because sometimes they'll give various, you know, I'm in pain, I've got this, I've got that. But primarily find out what it is that concerns them the most. Is it the pain? Is it the tiredness? Is it the sleep problem? And then full assessment, pelvis, spine, neck, um, joint alignment, um, the posture, obviously, how they stand, how they sit, head position, shoulder position, and then um, muscle tensions. Prime cause of uh, pain in the head, neck, shoulders, and back is alteration in the, especially the trapezium, um, latissimus, scalene muscles of the neck. All these things can cause headaches um, and, and can impact on a person's sense of well-being. And, and it's, a, it's a very common problem um, if you ask the right questions that somebody will say, I'm not really in pain, but I can feel my body's not in the right place. And that's what, something I see a lot, partly, as I say, because I ask the right questions. But it's a very common problem. So True. This, this, this obviously contributes greatly to, to the way they feel. And as an example of a lady I saw today, I saw her, I see her intermittently. She's got a stressful life. She's studying. She's she's got problems, family problems, and this and that and the other. Um, I saw her today after I saw her last week. She looked so much better today. Tension out of her face. She felt better. She's sleeping better. So this is often the hidden thing that you see with somebody with posture. It's not pain. It's their general health. All wow. the things we've discussed: stress, anxiety, um, breathing, fatigue, and sleep. and that's not the. I would say the average American, at least maybe even even there um, in, in the UK, that's not what they're going to think is the cause of their issues. That posture is so um, so much a part of their general well-being. Uh, they they're looking for a medication, maybe a prescription. There's something I can just take a, a pill, or uh, maybe it's it's the stress, just the emotional aspect of what's going on in life, which is a part of it. But their posture and how they're their body aligns is such a crucial piece of that but yet they're not thinking about it and and i, I would say we as even a kind of a, a the medical community um even discusses it. it it's it's more of maybe you need counseling well no you just need to stand up a little straighter right and let's work on some exercises and some stretching and some strengthening yeah it makes a big difference i've done it for many years it's not well recognized in the medical community here either um, other things are always considered medication, counselor, um, psychologist be before, mm -hmm. but the, the, the body alignment has a massive effect on this. Absolutely, it does. Wow. I mean, that's uh, even for me, I, I deal with a lot of people, as you, you know, too, um, who are going through it. And dealing with a guy right now who's probably needs to drop a good a good 50 pounds, um, young guy in his uh, late 20s. So we're working on, obviously, weight loss, changing his nutritional habits, uh, body alignment, because he's sitting at a desk. He's, you know, looking into a screen for hours and hours every day. So one of the comments he made to me as he's losing weight and as I'm realigning him, you know, head, shoulders, um, spine, what have you, he says, I have more energy. I have more focus in what I'm doing. I feel more productive throughout the day, and that also helps with with his attitude. Yes, and they, they, they will very. You'll see this as you as you understand about body position and stress and how it impacts on health. 
they will tell you because a lot of people, first of all, they don't go to their doctor and say, my body's not light. They don't feel right, but they don't go for that. They go because they're in pain. They don't really come to me so much and say, my body's not balanced. They'd only come if they're in pain. A lot of people, if they were aware of their symptoms, and obviously you have to be careful with the medical situation because other things can, I'm very careful in how I assess. I don't assume it's posture. I'm looking at all the different possibilities it could be. I ask about stomach. I ask about gynecology. I ask about the inflammatory uh, markers. I ask about headaches. You know, do we need scans? Do we need bloods? I'm, I'm very big on asking for blood tests because it will often show up imbalances. Vitamin D, the B vitamins, iron, calcium. These are very common things. So do a blood screen and do a blood screen for inflammation. If you've done all of these things and you can't find anything, because a lot of people will come to me and say, well, they've done my scans and they've done my bloods and they tell me nothing's wrong. Well, nothing's wrong on the tests, but the body alignment's a complete mess. Mm. Yeah. And it's often not looked for and the patient doesn't understand how to, how to portray it to the practitioner. If you ask the right questions, you'll find out where the answers are. That's so true. In a lot of things, in a lot, a lot of things, life. You got to ask the right questions. If you're asking you the, the, the right wrong questions, questions you're, yeah. you're you're not going to get the, the right problems questions all. and listen to the answers, and you'll get the solution. I have I have a belief that a lot of patients will tell you the solution if you ask the right questions. They'll tell you where the solution is. In many cases, that comes yeah. from many years of practice and and assessments. True, so, true. Um, you have to learn that. Correct. You got to yeah. learn what the right questions you are. Learn to ask the right questions because they will, you know, they'll say, "Oh, I think it's my stomach. I think it's gynecology. I think it's headaches." You know, they will point you in that direction. What you have to avoid doing is is, is asking questions to which you preconceive the answer. You should mm -hmm. be you should be trying to disprove what you think it is, not prove it. That's and a very get, good point. And then you'll get, and then you'll get the yeah, play devil's advocate. If 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 all the questions, if you can't disprove with all the questions you've asked, then you've probably got the right answer. That's that's a great point. That's a very good point, and I don't, I don't think that's done enough. And, you know what you just said. Yeah, I would agree. I think I think certain branches of medicine do. I don't know about in the U.S. Um, how they approach this. I know here there are certain places it's lacking but i think it's very important with the patient because they don't know what to tell you if they're not in pain they don't know how to explain well i'm not level or i'm anxious or i'm not sleeping mm -hmm. they don't really know how to portray that because you don't go to a doctor and say no my body's not aligned nobody does that no nobody does <laughs> no nobody, nobody does, does no you either go because you don't feel well or because you're in pain there's only two reasons yeah, it's true. Even if they, when they come see me on the fitness side, they're not saying, I have my, my body's out of alignment. And I can tell, but that's not why they're coming to me. You know, they're coming to me to lose weight, um, mostly lose weight, maybe get stronger because they, they need it or uh, their balance is off. But they're not coming to me to say, hey, I feel like my, my body's out of alignment. No. <laughs> Until we go through assessments and then point things out to them and then they go, oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just, you know, people are only aware of so many things. You, 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 you've got to press and probe until you find the right answers. Yeah, very true. Very true. Well, John, I appreciate you spending some time uh, with me today. Oh, and... that. That's, I mean, it's a massive subject. We could, we could expand on this. And, and we will. We will. We'll do some more over, uh, you know, maybe once a quarter or so and, and expand a little bit more on it. And shed this light onto the listeners that there are other things out there, other ways to help them besides just medication uh, all the well, time. Well, and, medication and psychology and psychology or cancer is what they always look at. But a lot yes. of people will get better with just the physical medic medicine approach. Right. Exercise, Exercise prescription. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. not, it's not, it's not really considered by the medical profession as a primary approach, but it, it, it can bear massive results. True. True. Well, then we will talk about that another time. And I appreciate uh, you joining me uh, late from, from England today. Pleasure. So until next time, yeah, this is Matt Peel with the Peel Appeal. 
and I will talk to you later. Are you ready to get in the game? Get personal help, sign up for our newsletter, and pick up your copy of Athlete in the Game of Life, the book, all at mattpeel.com. Thanks for listening.